Students march in circles with their hands on their heads to imitate prisoners in response to police blocking tactics. Not intimidated by a large police presence, the students took to the streets again to protest against President Milosevic. But despite the police, spirits were high. An international mediator was backing opposition victories in local elections. In Geneva, former Spanish Prime Minister Felipe González, who headed a mission to Serbia to investigate the crisis, urged President Milosevic to accept the election results. The news sparked mass celebrations among other opposition supporters, who also defied police to take to the streets for the 38th straight day. Opposition leaders were quick to seize on the report, demanding that the president respect their election victory. If Milosevic recognized election result from November 17, we are ready to stop our protests. We are ready to start dialogue. An end to the protests would be welcomed by Milosevic. They'd become the most serious challenge to his nine years in power. He is now under even more pressure with the release of the report. With the international community closely watching his next move, the Serbian leader faces a tough decision on how to react.